Jingle jingle friends, welcome to Harmony Hills Home and Garden for the holidays this year. I am Jenny and we're gardening and celebrating Christmas here in Baltimore, Maryland, Zone 7. Today's project is the first of, I don't know how many holiday projects that we're going to be doing together over the course of the Christmas season here in 2021. But today's project is planting amaryllis for indoor beauty during the holiday season. So come with me and let's do this super simple indoor gardening project for the holidays. Okay, so I'm going to lose this hat because it's really, you know, it's a prop just for show. Um, okay, how's that look? Yeah, that's better. Okay, I don't know how many holiday videos I'm going to be doing this season. I'm just going to kind of play it all by ear and you tell me if you want to see more holiday themed videos from me this season. I don't honestly do a ton of garden related things during the holidays, although I do have in mind a few more than usual for this Christmas season. Okay, I bought two of these kits. I've already opened one, but let's open this one together. When you buy these kits, they come with a container with the planting medium and with the bulb and the instructions. And it couldn't be any simpler to put this project together. So the instructions say to, um, so here's my bulb and here's the planting medium. This is compressed peat moss, I believe. Either that or it's coconut, I'm not sure which. Um, all right, so it says here, it's cocoa, cocoa peat is what it says. So probably a combination. All right, so it's a little hockey puck looking thing. And what you do is you soak this in water. I've got some hot water here. This is a cup and a half of water and the cocoa peat moss in this container. And it's going to puff up and become a big pile of planting medium. It says to soak it for about 15 minutes. So, ready, go. It's not the most exciting thing ever. You can start to scrape it off the outsides of it. Yeah, okay, so that's not very exciting. I'll come back when it's all done. This is kind of cool, look. It kind of expanded into this big old tall blob. Oh, nice. So now I have this, uh, Planting medium here is coconut coir mixed with peat moss, I'm guessing. Not exactly sure. All right, so the next instruction is to place uh, two third, fill two thirds of the bottom of the container with this medium, saving a little bit so that you can put it around the bulb. Okay, so just put that right in there, just like that. And then you just take the bulb. This is the amaryllis bulb. You can see it's already started to sprout and these are the roots. So you're gonna just take this and put it down into that planting medium. And you want the top of the bulb to be roughly even with the top of the container. And that's just an aesthetic choice. It doesn't have to be, but um, you just need like the roots to be in some soil. And then you take the rest of this potting medium and just kind of Basically, you're just kind of mm, kind of propping the bulb up straight with the rest of this soil. It doesn't need to be planted uh, like like a tulip or a daffodil would be. You really just need to get the roots and the bottom surface of the bulb touching some planting medium. There you go. Now you're gonna think that, wow, that's not enough to let this bulb grow, but really it is totally fine. Um, in fact, if you cover the sides of this with uh, soil and keep it too moist, it'll rot in place. So you really just need the roots and the bottom surface of the bulb touching the soil, the moistened soil, and then the bulb just kind of sitting up on top of that. And you might be able to see here how it's just kind of barely just barely above the level of the pot. Now what's gonna happen is uh, you keep this at a temperature above 65 degrees Fahrenheit and you put it in a bright room where it's gonna get sunlight. And then every once in a while, every couple days, you're gonna wanna spin this in place so that the stalk as it grows doesn't lean toward the light source. So you're just gonna have to kinda 
go visit it once in a while give it some encouragement you can do it you can do it little bulb and it'll grow a nice big tall stalk it'll probably grow to be about a foot and a half tall and then it'll put out blooms and blossoms um let's see keep out of direct sunlight once it starts to flower so that the flowers last longer um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in my sunroom and I'm going to just keep turning them so that their stalks grow up nice and tall and straight. And then when they are flowering, they're going to go into the mantle of my living room as part of the decorations there. These should blossom before Christmas, I'm hoping. Let's see if it tells me when it's going to. Doesn't say. So. I'm going to have to do a little bit of research and figure that out. Okay, so I'm going to do the other one just like I did that one. I've got the soil medium already soaked here. Put most of it down in the bottom. And then put my bulb in. And then just kind of put the rest of this soil medium. It's not soil, uh, planting medium kind of around the bulb just to hold it up straight so it doesn't flop over. Again, I'm not really planting the bulb deeply. I definitely want at least a third, the top third of this bulb to be showing, but mine are actually um, more than a, more than the top third of mine are out of the soil medium and that, or the planting medium, and that's fine. My words are not coming out my mouth the way I want them to today. All right, so there we go. Now, as far as the bulb is concerned, this is all you have to do for it. You don't have to add any water. You don't have to do anything else. Just put it in a bright, sunny location that's 65 degrees or higher. You don't want it to be sweltering hot either, but, you know, inside your house, 65 or warmer. <coughs> I'm going to go wash my hands, and then we're going to pretty these up a little bit so that they just look a little bit nicer. Just get this cleaned up a little bit. This is just wet paper towel. Now, when you go to the store to buy your amaryllis, when you go to the garden center to buy your amaryllis bulbs, sometimes the garden center, like if it's a big box store, they'll typically have the kits like this one, and then they also might have some bulbs that have a wax coating around them. And they might even have been added glitter on top to make them look fest festive for the holiday season. And the idea is that those wax ones, you don't have to water them, you don't have to plant them, you don't have to do anything except just put them into some sort of container that will hold them upright. And then they'll grow on their own because everything they need to grow is contained within the bulb inside that wax coating. Um, and some people find that it's super easy. You just, you really literally just buy the waxed bulb set it in a bright location and a couple of weeks later you have blooms it's pretty awesome now and then there's these kits and then you can go the other way with it and you can um some garden centers will sell uh just the bulbs in fact just um like in a bin you go up and you pick out your bulb um i don't have a garden center near me that sells them that way but there are you know many 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 different varieties of amaryllis and uh, these are just the common red lion, bright red ones, but there's pinks and there's whites and there's uh, different variegations and just lots and lots of choices. So um, if you're particular about what kind of amaryllis you want, um, you can order some online or you might be able to find a garden center that will sell different varieties of them. These, this is just a super simple, get the kit, get them in the soil and away you go. Okay, so I've cleaned up the outside a little bit and now this isn't really the most beautiful looking kind of situation going on here. So I'm going to pretty up the top of this container a little bit. And I have a few different, I have a few different things I'm going to try. One is, this is sheet moss, this is preserved sheet moss from the craft store. And I'm going to um, kind of tuck it around the bulb a little bit. I'm out of this bag, let me open another one. I'm just really just tucking it in there, just making it look a little bit neater, a little more um, garden oriented, a little bit more, um, you know, just prettier. 
So that is totally fine and I'll probably leave mine this way this year. But if you wanted to amp it up a little bit, you could take some of this vase filler. I got this at the Dollar Tree. Um, so it's styrofoam balls with gold or red glitter on top of it. And um, you could put some of these on here and kind of decorate the surface like that. And now I'm losing them all over the place. So I'm going to have these glitter styrofoam things in my garden forever. Okay. So. So that's an option. That's very festive and pretty. What else? Um, let me get some moss on here just because I don't want to be playing in the dirt too much. So with my moss base, this is just to keep my decorative elements off of that planting medium from getting too dirty. But I also have this container full of little mini pine cones, which I don't know why I bought these because my neighbor's hemlock tree drops exactly these pine cones down on our patio every year. Could have just gone out and collected them. But um, anyway, uh, I have these collect these. I bought these years ago, though, so I don't know. Anyway, um, you can take these little mini pine cones put them on here for a very different kind of more natural look if you're going for the botanical theme or the more natural look or woodland theme this would be a really nice way to do it so if you have options you could leave it you don't have to add anything but um, the sheet moss makes a nice finishing touch and then you could add a decorative element you you could also add other things on here uh fake snow or uh christmas ornaments or um pearl beads or what do you think what would you add as a um as a cover for your amaryllis bulbs i think i'm going to actually take off this glittery stuff and put pine cones on mine. I like the way that's looking. So that's my project for today. Okay, so this is my first holiday project of the 2021 Christmas season. Um, garden related, yes. And uh, in just a few weeks, we'll have some gorgeous, beautiful amaryllis flowers. So I'm hoping that they bloom in time for Christmas. They might not, but I think they will. If not, that's fine. I'll enjoy them after Christmas. So have you done amaryllis like this? Have you done the pick your own bulbs and um, not with a kit? Or have you done the wax bulb kind? Do you, what do you do with your amaryllis after Christmas? I'd love to hear that from you too, because I don't really know. So don't ask me. I'm not an expert on amaryllis by any means. I can follow kit's instructions, but that's about all I know. I'm learning along with you. So if you know more about amaryllis bulbs and what to do with them after they bloom, let us all know in the comment section down below. That would be super awesome. And this is the end of my first Christmas 2021 video. So thank you so much for joining me. Um, I don't know how many more Christmas videos I'm going to be doing or if all of them will be garden related. I don't know. But if you're interested in following along for the Christmas season with me, go ahead and subscribe and hit the like button and all those good things, all those YouTube things. And thank you so much. I hope that you have a wonderful Christmas season and I hope to see you again very soon. Thanks. Bye.